Well, good evening, everybody. It's pretty rare that I start a video this late at night. It's already almost nine o'clock, but it's just the way things are going. Today's video is a collaboration. Uh, first off, I guess I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life, and here on my channel, you'll see lots of food, family life, cranberry farming, what else? homeschooling, just kind of the generals like that. But today's video is a collaboration with Darlene from Super at 60, which also she always shares so much food over on her channel. Sometimes she ventures away from it a little bit, um, but then, you know, quickly gets back to the food topics. As well as in the kitchen with Mama Mel, she also shares all, all the food recipes and like 30 minute meals and grocery hauls and things like that. So the three of us had gotten together and just decided that what we wanted to do is to highlight some of Heather's recipes from the Needy Homesteader. If you are familiar with her channel, uh, she went through just a horrific tragedy about a year and a half ago now. So even with her plate being full with um, uh, grieving and everything from her tragedy, um, she's just been able to remain faithful and still be an inspiration to all of us here still in the kitchen and canning and all those kinds of things so anyway tonight what I want to do is get going on two of the recipes um, first up I'm going to get out my KitchenAid here I'm going to get some ingredients going for sweetened condensed milk bread so the video for this bread has popped up in my feed multiple times over the past year or two or I don't even know how long ago it was that she put this video up but I've wanted to make it ever since and I'm finally finally getting to it so let's get the ingredients in and mixed up so I'm getting everything into the bowl of my KitchenAid I have one cup of milk one fourth cup sweetened condensed milk one egg, two tablespoons sugar, Okay, so now that all of those ingredients are blended together, I'm sprinkling over the top two and one fourth teaspoons of instant yeast. As well as three and one fourth cups of just regular all purpose flour. That's what the recipe calls for. I normally would use a bread flour uh, for most of my bread recipes but this one specifically calls out all-purpose so I figured I better just go with it. One teaspoon of salt and then one fourth cup softened butter. A little bit later here I'm going to notice that I was not supposed to put the butter in until I mixed in those dry ingredients and let it actually and let my dough hook do its job, which is to come to a nice soft dough ball. So that didn't really actually ever happen because I was supposed to put the butter in afterwards. That's okay. Um, I mixed everything up. I did add in just a smidge more flour and then uh, let, let the dough hook do its thing for quite a while. And when I realized, you know, I don't think this is going to come actually to a ball, I went and reread the recipe and saw that I had done it wrong and so then I just kneaded it a few times on my counter. So my dough here is ready for its first rising. It is a very soft dough. It reminds me very much of a cinnamon roll dough. I have a recipe for um, these just super soft um, cream cheese frosted cinnamon rolls and this reminds me a lot of that dough. Just really, um, really, really soft and I took a pinch of it and tried it. It's really, it's got a nice sweet flavor to it. So I'm just going to oil my bowl here and then we'll get this dough put in here to raise for an hour. So now that the bread is just 
just resting over there, just doing its thing, rising away. Um, I am going to do two things. So the other recipe that I wanted to try, and this is something I've wanted to do for years, and I just have not ever actually taken the time to do it, but that is to try um, making homemade peanut butter. So just simply out of honey roasted, dry roasted peanuts. That's it. That's the only ingredient that there is. Well, obviously whatever is in these, but that's it. So I'm going to put those. I have one of these blenders. It is not the name brand Vitamix. It looks similar to a Vitamix though. So I'm hoping that this works and I'm just going to put the whole jar of peanuts in here and then turn it to high and just watch what it does, I guess. All right, well, that was a little trial and error. I was putting it at high on my machine here, and I found out that actually smoothie tended to work better. So it really warms it up. I was not, like, look at that. You can see a little, a little steam kind of coming off of it. So anyway, you want to try a little bite of peanut butter, Joe? No. No? Okay, oh, you just brushed your teeth? Okay, okay, so this is what it looks like. It's all creamy. I'm gonna try some of that now. All right, so I have not ever had warm peanut butter, I don't think. That's delicious. It's like still warm. It's like pourable. It is delicious. I wanted to double check this for price though. So this was a 16 ounce jar of dry roasted peanuts and it yielded not quite 16 ounces. You know, this is a uh, pint jar, so not quite 16 ounces of peanut butter. The peanuts were $1.95. I did recently get 16 ounce jars of peanut butter on sale for $1.49. Um, this winter, I was getting it for 99 cents when I would find it on sale. So as far as, um, as far as a budget saving thing, I would say that it's not, unless of course, I could find um, the dry roasted peanuts, you know, the honey roasted peanuts, maybe in a, a big bulk container or something like that where I could get them for less than $1.49 a pound. Okay, um, but with that, I feel like there's probably less ingredients in this. Uh, it has peanuts, sugar, honey, sea salt, modified potato starch, maltodextrin, xanthan gum. Um, so, I mean, there definitely are some extra ingredients in here, but not nearly as many as what's in actually peanut butter, <laughs> or at least most of the time the peanut butter that I buy. So, delicious. Not necessarily a money-saving tip, but it is delicious. So, um, I'm going to store this in the refrigerator, and uh, we will, yeah, we'll be having peanut butter and jelly for lunch tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. I'm just getting a couple things ready here now, so... I do have the egg wash ready for the bread, which is just an egg and a couple tablespoons of milk. Um, that's going to be plenty when I'm following recipes that, like the egg wash, is always way more than you really need. But anyway, I can just save that and scramble it up tomorrow morning, um, you know, for a scrambled egg. And then this here is going to be the glaze that is going to go on after the bread comes out of the oven. This is three tablespoons of softened butter, as well as three tablespoons of the sweetened condensed milk. And it is so warm in our house 
that I didn't even need to soften the butter. Uh, I see a couple little lumps, so I'm going to keep stirring that. But um, yeah, it's really warm in here. All right, you all, it's getting late. <laughs> Do you remember what time I started this video at? Anyway, the bread, or at least the dough here, has um, risen. It's gone through its first hour. It was a little bit over an hour, about an hour and eight minutes or so. I'm going to get this divided in half, and I'm going to roll it out nice and thin. This is some soft, soft dough. Oh wow. It kind of makes me kind of makes me feel like um, years ago I made something called pillow bread. I don't even know where the recipe came from or where it is now, but I just remember making something called pillow bread and this feels very much like it. So we're going to get this rolled out pretty thin, but I really, whoop, let's move this. I'm going to get this rolled pretty thin, but I really only want it to be about as wide as the length of my pan. And we'll pinch. And being that this is a really soft dough and I've just used the oil um, for rolling it out, I didn't add any extra flour. It pinches together really easily. And now I have a bread pan sprayed. It's not a real pretty pan, but it gets the job done. And we're just gonna cut this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm supposed to just cut it and then kind of lift it. I think I'm going to have to put them in piece by piece. And we're going to do the same thing to this one. One thing when you find a bread dough that you really like it makes making bread fun and it makes it something that you really like want to do again. One of the recipes that I have been making for just like just bread, just sandwich bread, um, I'll have to link to that video too for you guys. It's such a yummy, yummy recipe and it makes such good soft sandwich dough. And I'm feeling like this is going to be an excellent dough to use for anything sweet. Any kind of sweet dough item that I want to make. Okay, let's get this rolled up. And I like to kind of just stretch this so it is even all the way down. Pinch roll it over and let's do the same thing one two three four five six and seven all right and there it is in the pan I'm going to just use the same cloth, cover it. I have my oven on very, very low right now just to help it with the rising process or the raising. You know, I always forget, is it rising or raising? Huh. And at this point in the evening, it doesn't really matter to me. I just want it to puff up. <laughs> Let's go with that. Get the bread puffing and then we'll get the and then I'll get the egg wash on. So this is probably gonna have to rise for about, I would say 40 minutes or so. It's pretty warm in here. Looks like the milk bread has doubled in size. I'm gonna get my egg wash out. Of course, I already realized that I used egg and milk for the egg wash and it calls for egg and water. I must have written that one down wrong too.
Okay, we're going to put this in the oven. Oh, shoot, I should have gotten my oven back up to 350. So I'm going to set my oven to 350, let this uh, rise for just a few more minutes until it gets to 350. And then we'll put it in for about 20 minutes, maybe up to 22 minutes. All right, 22 minutes later and the milk bread, the sweetened condensed milk bread is out of the oven and it looks and it smells so good. I don't think it's ever smelled so good in the house this late at night. Anyway, I did think it was kind of funny because I didn't, I guess, get them lined up just perfectly in there. And so I feel like they look a little bit like a little inchworm or something. I have my glaze right here. I'm gonna have to give that a stir again. And I'm just going to get that all brushed onto the bread here. So the tip of using parchment paper would have been a good idea just because I could have lifted it out without having to like tip it over like this. That's okay though. Ooh, ooh, that is pretty. So I have to say whoever had the idea of mixing butter with sweetened condensed milk is a genius. <laughs> Those two flavors together taste so good. And just even using this, this idea of the sweetened condensed milk with the butter, let's say you were making cinnamon rolls and you were out of cream cheese or you were out of powdered sugar or something for making a, a, a different, you know, a different type of glaze. This would make an excellent, excellent glaze um, cinnamon rolls. And it's just a little different twist. And I feel like you would really, really wow your guests. It's supposed to be like a pull apart. That's why you slice it first. So it can just be a pull apart bread. Oh boy. It's hot still. But look at that. That is just, let's see here. Look at that. It is just pillowy, super soft. Mmm. Mmm. Just a hint of sweetness. This is a winner. Big time. Big time winner. Oh my goodness. That is phenomenal bread. I mean, just about any loaf of bread is good when it's warm, isn't it? But I know, I can just tell by the consistency and everything of this, that as it cools, it's going to be just as delicious. And there are some things that I am so glad that I tried this recipe, or there are some reasons that I'm so glad I tried this recipe. One, just for the idea of the glaze, sweetened condensed milk and butter mixed together to make a glaze. That is just genius and it is so delicious. And the other thing is to actually slice the dough first and then put it back in. I mean, I've, I've sliced dough and then laid it down for making my pizza pinwheels or making cinnamon rolls. <clears throat> but the whole idea of slicing it and then just putting it back just how you sliced it you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then putting it into the loaf pan phenomenal absolutely a phenomenal idea it does not take much more than an extra 20 seconds to do and it's totally worth it it also got me thinking about pizza like cheese fries you could roll out the dough and then you could slice it first into strips then lay it into onto like the big baking sheet so that when it comes out of the oven you just pull them apart and you don't have to necessarily uh, cut each individually each individual one i am very very eager to try that so yeah all right well i hope that you guys enjoyed this video definitely these are both winners i know that technically the milk bread is not one of a Heather original recipe, but quite honestly, 
what recipe is 100% original. I mean, there's only so many ingredients in the world and you pretty much take different, you take kind of the same ingredients, put them together in a little different way, put your own twist on it and that's what you have. And that's what I did because I made a couple mistakes along the way and it still turned out perfectly. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, this collab. Definitely check in the description box below. It'll take you over to both Darlene's channel and to Mel's channel. That's Super at 60 and In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. And you can go and see what recipes they tried. I heard something about somebody maybe trying... Uh, a barbecue, a homemade barbecue sauce possibly, and maybe someone else trying some one of her bread recipes. So very, uh, very excited to go and watch those videos as well. And if you are new here, I'm so happy that you stuck around all the way to the end. And um, if you like this type of content and lots of food and kids and family and cranberries and that type of thing, hit the subscribe button for more videos. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day and stay faithful.